Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast, your go-to source for personal, professional, and organizational growth and development. We hope you tune in often for all things people management, organizational development and change, organizational leadership, and social impact related. Maximize your personal and organizational potential with Human Capital Innovations Podcast. Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. In this inspiring TED Talks HCI podcast episode, I explore Stacy Kramer's 2010 TED Talk, The Best Gift I Ever Survived. Welcome back to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. It's great to be with you again today for this inspiring TED Talks HCI podcast episode. Today I'll be exploring Stacey Kramer's 2010 TED Talk, The Best Gift I Ever Survived. Stacey Kramer offers a moving, personal three-minute parable that shows how an unwanted experience, frightening, traumatic, and costly, can turn out to be a priceless gift. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you on the flip side of this first clip. Imagine, if you will, a gift. I'd like for you to picture it in your mind. It's not too big, about the size of a golf ball. So envision what it looks like all wrapped up. But before I show you what's inside, I will tell you it's going to do incredible things for you. It will bring all of your family together. You will feel loved and appreciated like never before and reconnect with friends and acquaintances you haven't heard from in years. Adoration and admiration will overwhelm you. It will recalibrate what's most important in your life. It will redefine your sense of spirituality and faith. You'll have a new understanding and trust in your body. You'll have unsurpassed vitality and energy. You'll expand your vocabulary, meet new people, and you'll have a healthier lifestyle. And get this, you'll have an eight-week vacation of doing absolutely nothing. You'll eat countless gourmet meals. Flowers will arrive by the truckload. People will say to you, you look great. Have you had any work done? And you'll have a lifetime supply of good drugs. You'll be challenged, inspired, motivated, and humbled. Your life will have new meaning. Peace, health, serenity, happiness. Nirvana. The price, $55,000. And that's an incredible deal. I don't know about all of you, but to me, this sure sounds like an awesome gift. Something that can be transformative in your life. That, that's hard to come by. And so, of course, we, we know uh, that there's going to be strings attached. We know that something's coming on the second half of this story. But it's important for us to recognize the good that comes to us, regardless of the way it comes to us, regardless of the origins of that, good is good. And transformation to a new, more whole self, uh, connected to the world, connected emotionally, spiritually, physically to our loved ones, to our work, having meaning and purpose, all of these things, uh, that's tremendous. People spend their entire lives chasing this, searching for it, trying to find it. And she she found it. So I'm incredibly happy for her. It's awesome to think about the possibility of finding similar types of gifts and calm and peace and love and purpose and joy. It, it, It seems amazing. 
you know, to be able to find that for ourselves. And I think we are probably all in our own way are searching for that very thing. In fact, we spend most of our lives in that journey, in that search. A lot of times we go down paths that aren't particularly helpful or healthy to, in, in our attempts to, to find it. We abuse substances. We uh, find ourselves in unhealthy relationships. We allow ourselves to fall victim to limiting and negative thought patterns due to our circumstances rather than embracing the challenges and, and understanding the importance of growth mindset. You know, we, we all are in search of meaning and purpose, and we all are in search for the types of things she's describing as she shares in that first uh, couple minutes of the clip uh, about this gift, this small little gift that provided so much to her life. In the next clip, of course, we'll learn more about what that gift is, and we'll talk more about it. By now, I know you're dying to know what it is and where you can get one. Does Amazon carry it? Does it have the Apple logo on it? Is there a waiting list? Not likely. This gift came to me about five months ago and looked more like this when it was all wrapped up. Not quite so pretty. And this. And then this. It was a rare gem, a brain tumor, hemangioblastoma, the gift that keeps on giving. And while I'm okay now, I wouldn't wish this gift for you. I'm not sure you'd want it, but I wouldn't change my experience. It profoundly altered my life in ways I didn't expect, in all the ways I just shared with you. So the next time you're faced with something that's unexpected, unwanted, and uncertain, consider that it just may be a gift. Namaste. I'm excited to announce the publication of my new book from HCI Press, The Alchemy of Truly Remarkable Leadership, Ordinary Everyday Actions That Produce Extraordinary Results. Consider how the nature of work has shifted over the past 50 years. With increased globalization, rapid technological advancement, and the shift in economic composition, the average job of today looks very different than the average job of 50 years ago. What will the jobs and organizations of tomorrow look like? Moreover, what does this all mean for organizational leaders? What are the core competencies and capabilities of organizations and their leadership that are prepared for continued disruption and geopolitical and socioeconomic shifts? Regardless of what the future holds, increasingly, leaders need to be socially minded, data-driven, decisive, champions of talent, and disruptors of the traditional notions of leadership, teams, organizations, and work. The alchemy of truly remarkable leadership will help you to explore your own leadership competencies and capabilities and consider ways to apply and implement them into your workplace and personal life. I'm sure that most of you listening saw this coming. You knew that something like this was going to be on the other side of the TED Talk, where she explores something that was really hard, something that was really tragic. And of course, that is exactly what we find out uh, in the second half. That in fact, this gift, what she has grown into seeing as a gift, is cancer, a brain tumor. Uh, something as horrific, as traumatic as that. Some Something that we would never wish on anyone else, even our worst enemy, is something that she would never trade. She would, wouldn't give it up or, or do it differently if she had it to do over because she's able to recognize how transformative this experience was for her. I have to admit, that's a very mature 
perspective for her to have. And not everyone would go through that experience and be able to have that kind of a mindset. So many would go through that kind of a traumatic, life-altering experience and build anger and resentment. And while that would be perfectly understandable for something so traumatic, it's empowering to hear her talk about her approach and how she really saw this as a gift. I think we all would do well to, to try to do the same. And it's, it's not to minimize the trauma, to minimize the difficulties. Again, nobody would wish this on anybody. Nobody would wish abuse or neglect on anybody. Name your trauma, name your difficulty. Everyone in life faces these different challenges. And, and we wouldn't wish those challenges on anyone else, yet they are what make us who we are. And if we can face them, stand up to them, face them with maturity and focus on, on those things that we can learn from them, lean into the difficulty, lean into the pain, lean into the trauma, not to give into it, but allowing ourselves to learn from it. That's, that's where, where transformative power comes from in life. And as she notes, and as I mentioned earlier on in this episode, that can be very difficult to find. People spend their entire lives trying to find that meaning and purpose that she has found, that connection that she has found. The next question I have is, do we need such trauma? Do we need a gift, quote unquote, like a brain tumor in order to be able to find that peace, that joy, that happiness, that connection, that oneness, that alignment? And I think the answer is no. It's not a prerequisite. Oftentimes, though, it is the catalyst. But can we proactively go after those good, positive things that she described? Absolutely we can. Absolutely we can. And we should. Now, this episode is is more on a personal level. Again, we all deal with traumas. We all deal with difficulties. We all have our privileges or lack thereof. We all are dealt, you know, a deck of cards that often is unfair and, you know, nobody thinks that life is fair. We, we all have our stuff to deal with. And hopefully on an individual level, we can all learn from the good, we can learn from the bad, and then discard it and move forward in a positive direction. But let's also not forget from an organizational perspective and from a leadership perspective that we have those around us that are dealing with the same types of traumas, the same types of difficulties. It's why listening is so important. It's why empathy is so important in leadership today. If I were with her, if I was her boss at the time she went through this difficulty, there's nothing I can do to fix it. There's nothing I can say to make her feel better, but I can be with her. I can listen to her. I can provide support for her. And those are the types of things that we as leaders need to be able to do. We can cultivate a growth mindset within ourselves. We can model that and demonstrate it to our people, help them to develop that same growth mindset. And as we have a growth culture within our organization, within our team, our people are going to be better equipped to deal with the blows that life throws at them. We all will have them. It's inevitable. But we can overcome them. We can learn from them, we can grow from them, and we can come out better for it. That's something I'm forever grateful for. Thanks for joining me for this episode of the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. As always, I hope you stay healthy and safe, that you can find meaning and purpose at work each and every day, and I hope you have a great week.
we are excited about the launch of HCI's new magazine, Human Capital Leadership. Human Capital Leadership is a free, interactive e-magazine designed to help individuals, leaders, and organizations find innovative approaches to maximize their human capital potential. We will be publishing issues quarterly in August, November, February, and May. Check out the first issue and let us know what you think. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. I hope you stay healthy and safe and that you have a great week.